Hi, my name is George Sukushnai. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And today I'll be showing you a day in my life as a curriculum intern here at Code Academy. So we have a lot of things going on today. Um, we have a stand-up that I'll be showing you in just a little bit. We'll be also celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Code Academy, which is very, very exciting. In the afternoon, I will be doing some more work and I'll be, I'll be talking about it in a little bit as well. Uh, I'll be talking, making a presentation to the entire curriculum team and making a presentation at a rework um, to some software apprentices in the afternoon. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me and well, I hope you enjoy. Great, and now I'm on to Slack. Uh, here at Current Academy, we use a platform called Slack, which is just a way we communicate with every, very, 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 very everybody here on the account. So right off the bat, I start my day around 9.50 to around 10 a.m. Um, usually we do what I call standards, which is just give people uh, in our team a summary of what we're doing and some things we'll be working on. So actually yesterday, I was revising our Google Maps quiz and we're importing it on a platform called Author, which is a proprietary platform that Code Academy uses for us uh, curriculum developers to add them onto the Code Academy website. Right after that, we'll be finalizing our article outline. Um, yesterday, uh, we outlined the different parts of, of the article that we want to add, whether that was images, paragraphs, GIFs, just a variety of things that we want to include in an article. So that's something we worked on yesterday with me and my partner. Right after that, um, we continue working on our article narrative track, which is just the narrative and what actually people see on the website. So that is the thing I worked on yesterday. Today, I'll be working on the article narrative channel, which is exciting because um, I feel like we could be finalizing that very soon, hopefully the end of the day today. And I'll be meeting with my partner, Shun, who's very, 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 very excited as well to continue working on this project. And now I'll show you the rest of my day. All right, and now I'll get started on working on the narrative for our article. So right now, like I said, we're actually working on an article that talks about artificial intelligence. So some of the things I'm working on is just describing what it is, giving people a summary, um, giving people research of if they want to learn how to, what AI is, what skills they need to learn, um, some of the jobs available in this field, what its uh, beginnings are like, and what the state of AI and the future developments of AI are going to be like. So now on to the Google Docs. So usually for a lot of the lessons, articles, and the different content items that we use here in Code Academy, we'll use a variety of platforms. Here we're just using Google Doc. Then we use what is called markup language, which is a way for us to transport all this information on Google Doc over onto Author, which is a proprietary platform that Code Academy uses. I'll have an intro page that says what is artificial intelligence and describing it by telling its definition, which is referring to computers that do tasks that previously required human intelligence. And then right below that, I'll just, and after that, I'll be going to different aspects of what is AI. So like I said before, the jobs are available, um, the current state of AI, and some of the things I'll be discussing here on this article is some future developments, which I'm very, very excited about. And I'll be sharing it with you in just a little bit. Awesome. So now over to the future development section of this article. Um, so pretty much here, I've just like three different um, innovations that are being made in AI. So one of the things that is currently in the works is just creating a standard for all smart devices so that they're able to connect and work more synchronously. What do I mean by that? Um, you have devices like Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and you have Apple Home devices, which all work only by their own ecosystem. So can you, you can only talk to um, Google Home devices with uh, devices in the Google ecosystem, or Google devices, same thing with Amazon Alexa and Apple products as well. So what it, what is in the workings right now is just a single standard that you can use all of the home, um, home devices interchangeably. Maybe I can have a light bulb that's from Google Home. I can be using the Amazon Alexa system um, and just use all types of home devices and not have to rely on a single ecosystem um, of devices. And that is something I'll be, I'll be discussing here in this article. Right below that is just a portion of what we're talking about Lambda, which is 
just a natural language model and it does it was introduced by Google uh, which just seeks to make uh, conversations with an AI bot for search inquiries so what that means is just you think of it as you visiting the Google website on the home page and without um, not needing uh, for you to actually just create um, ser uh, searches on the search engine but instead make conversation with it whether that's on your phone so let's say I have to tell you know I'm asking about um, why is the Eiffel Tower um, X amount of feet tall and I can actually have a conversation with an AI bot that would lead me to either more questions, uh, maybe it could give you more recommendations of articles and it just, there's so many possibilities that you can be doing with that. And like I said, still in development, under development and we'll still have to see what um, Google does with that technology and seeing how um, users can um, interact with that. Great. So now that you've seen a little bit of what my um, morning starts, right now I'll be doing a presentation to the entire curriculum team, which a little bit is a little bit uh, nerd wracking. But um, you know, I feel prepared to do the presentation. Uh, we already done some prep, uh, some preparation and prep for the presentation. So um, the next clip is us presenting it to the entire curriculum team. So I hope you enjoyed that clip. I think that is it for working group updates. So on to discussion topics. Uh, we have a presentation from our American Autodeck interns. Um, welcome and thanks for having us here um, as AMT, American Autodeck uh, Summer Interns presentation. So today's agenda class is um, introdu introducing ourselves and we will have a demo of Array Group and uh, um, their uh, website, their lessons and um, blockers and next steps. And then um, me and George will talk about the maps um, uh, lessons and the blockers and next steps. So something about us is that we started um, this internship about five weeks ago and next week is our last week here. So um, our job here is to build lessons for Go language. So as you can see we have um, two groups here. We have array groups and maps groups. So look forward to see our content in the code camp later. So I'll pass it to Usha and introduce myself. Hey, um, so hi, my name is Lucia. Uh, my pronouns are her and she. Uh, and one fact, one fact about me is that I'm in the world of my ear. Um, unfortunately, Jalen cannot be here with us today because she's in the process of moving into a college dorm. So I'll just speak for her. Um, her pronouns are her and they. And one fun fact about her is that she's learning Mandarin, Korean, Japanese. Great. And my name is George Sukushinai. My pronouns are he and him. A fun fact about me is that I enjoy uh, teaching CS. And I'll pass it on to Nora. So again, my name is Shu Wenju, and people call me Nora. So my pronoun is she, her. And one fun fact about me is that I'm the youngest sibling in my family. Great, and now I'll be going into an all hands meeting with the entire entire team. Uh, we will all send a uh, very, very neat uh, 10 year anniversary gift box, which included a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of gifts. Um, pins, stickers, and just a lot of things that just to celebrate, you know, the 10-year anniversary of the company. And I just happened to already put the banner behind me if you've already seen in some of the clips already. But yeah, um, hope you enjoy the next clip as well. Three, two, one. Okay, so that was a, a vibe. Awesome. And now let's take it over to. Right. Oh my god. Over to Randall, actually. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone. Uh, so, first off, I just want to call out this is the perfect time to do it. Thank All right, thank you. All right, um, so just to, to close us out, a quick story and, and some quick snaps and thanks uh, for everyone. So, I, I, I talked a little bit about how uh, the company started. Uh, and I think when Ryan and I first started Go Academy, uh, we hoped that a couple of people would use the product. Um, we have been told repeatedly by people at Y Combinator, by friends of ours, by potential learners, um, that what we were working on was uh, silly. And so we thought, you know, uh, we'd be lucky if hundreds of people used this, right? Um, and then I remember like the feeling after we launched, uh, which was one of the best feelings I think uh, in my life. I think there were you know three, four days of pure adrenaline. 
as you saw, I had a lot of fun going into that meeting. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to record a lot of things, but um, hopefully the clips that I, you know you saw that I was struggling on just putting a spark, uh, that sparkle onto that brownie was exciting. Um, next thing I'll be doing right now is traveling on to Manhattan to uh, visit a WeWork. Um, this is, act is it actually just part of the job that I'm doing. I just wanted to go visit a WeWork and I'm just going to visit one and probably buying a day pass there just to, you know, get that in-person experience unfortunately we're not able to go in person to any other offices in Manhattan but you know I wanted to do um, some something similar to uh, what an in-person experience might look like and um, due to the constraints of um, you know the state of the world right now we are not able to go to the office but I'll be going right now to Manhattan uh, to where we work and visiting uh, and we were to work on some of the work that I'll be doing in the afternoon I'll continue working on the article for AI and be meeting some of the software apprentices and also be doing an end of the day check-in with the entire team that I work on. Great, so you'll be looking at some clips here and some images about um, my travel over um, Manhattan here. So I just took some pictures of what the WeWork is looking like, uh, me entering the actual WeWork office, um, and then I happened to go into one of the phone booths. Um, usually they don't allow us to um, be there more than 30 minutes but because it was quite empty um i was able to be the entire afternoon there and um i just took some pictures of myself and added some photos on social media about meeting with the software apprentices awesome thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end of this video i just want to thank you for doing that i just want to shout out lots and lots of people first off the entire card academy team um you guys have been amazing uh very welcoming um i think this entire internship really uh, helped me uh, make sure that uh, I can continue working on uh, my dreams in computer science. I know the other fellow interns also feel the same way. So don't shout out um, Nora, Ucha, Jalen for just being incredible teammates and the Code Academy staff that we worked on. Alicia, Alex, Sophie, and David. Um, you guys have made this internship in a very incredible space for us to work on and we look forward to um, collaborating even more. Um, also special thanks to uh, Jesse Peng from Google uh, CSSI. Um, she actually did a day in my life video uh, as an RBC student uh, innovation developer, which inspired this entire video. And I hope you also enjoy this video. And if you want to also uh, view more videos about um, my journey in tech, you can always subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. I'll be continuing on creating even more CS content, whether that's on my journey in CS at college, other um, internships, jobs, and just uh, possible conferences that I might join. Um, I have lots and lots of ideas that I want to do, and I just want to create even more content about my journey as a person of color and just delving into CS as much as I can. So I just want to thank you again for watching this video, and yeah, thank you.